Hey, <laughs> I'm using this dog for clickbait. <laughs> okay, listen. <laughs> listen, Linda. Linda, listen. So, Donald Trump just said, all right, that Kamala Harris supports reparations. And that he's going to make the taxpayers pay for it. Okay, which is the only way we would get it, right? Because the federal government is funded by the people. So he's 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 telling his supporters, hey, Kamala Harris, Kamala, Kamala Harris supports reparations. Ooh, don't let her do that. So we know Donald Trump, all right, on record, don't support, don't support reparations for your black ass. Okay, 100%, no doubt about it. No doubt about it. Don't support reparations for none of they black asses. All right, FBA. Okay, none of y'all. He's 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 telling his white folk, hey, don't vote for Kamala, <laughs> Kamala, because she may mess around and get them Negroes some reparations, huh? And that what y'all, and that what y'all was, uh, did y'all say Trump was your guy, huh? So what y'all gonna do? Cause y'all take all y'all orders from him, huh? Y'all listen to every goddamn thing he say. You still support him now? Huh? You still you still support Donald Trump? He say he ain't giving you shit. Matter of fact, he don't never talk about you. He don't say he gonna give you anything. He don't give he don't say nothing about you. He just let y'all go ahead and act like fool clown dogs by yourselves. He just he just threw all of you FBA Trump supporting idiots under the bus. Now what you gonna do? Now what you gonna do? Every one of y'all Coonerians have been thrown under the bus in the last couple months. Now he just got all y'all dumbasses. Now what you gonna do? Huh? What are you gonna do? Ha! What y'all gonna do? I, I, I shall, I'll prove it to you right now. I'll prove it to you right now. Alright, that's all I gotta say. It's Afro Think Tank Learn Some Teach Them. I'm out. We out! mentioned FBA a couple times. Uh, yeah. This is a term that I think I first heard about this term maybe two years ago. Mm -hmm. Um you have a do you have a book or an ebook about yeah, I got a book. Yeah, I got a book. Well, I got a book really talking about my experiences. It's called um, Foundational Black American Race Beta. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, talk about this term. Where did it come from and what inspired that book? Um, the term Foundational Black American, I really got that term from Claude Anderson. Um, I'm a big student of Claude Anderson, and I, I would chop it up with him, not just in my movies, but I would have him on my podcast, and he would talk about um, how unique native black Americans are. He would use the term native black Americans and he would talk about how unique we are as far as our lineage. We are a unique group, which is true. And I started using the term native black American, but sometimes that term would confuse people because they thought, well, do you mean a Cherokee who's mixed with black? Do you mean a Choctaw who's mixed with black? So that term would be somewhat confusing. So I said, let's do another term. Let's tighten that term up so that there won't be any confusion. So foundational instead of native because black people we are the founders of this nation meaning we're the foundation we built this nation from scratch so you, white people couldn't even say that they did that but you, you you made you changed that term yeah i did okay yeah i came up with the term foundational black american based on native black american from claude anderson